Hello and welcome to these guided meditations that are specifically designed for people who either hate meditating, don't know if they want to get into it, or not sure what the whole practice is about. And today's one is for those who think, hey, I don't know how to meditate or I can't meditate because I can't shut my brain off. And the aim in meditation is absolutely not to shut your brain off. Our brains will constantly come up with thoughts and scenarios and memories, just in the same way that our heart constantly pumps blood around the body or our stomach constantly produces digestive enzymes. It's what they do. All we're gonna do today is invite you to just sit back, relax a little bit, and just become aware of where your thoughts go. So if you're willing to join me, take whatever posture works well for you. You can stand, sit, lie down. No need to go into the cross-legged lotus position. Guide your fingers like a yogi on the top of a mountain. Just sit back, relax. All we're gonna do is start by taking a big deep breath in. Nice long exhale out. Feel free to close your eyes if that feels comfortable to do so, but you absolutely don't have to. You can keep your eyes open, you can pick a spot on the floor to stare at, look at your feet, or just soften your gaze. And all we're gonna do is just concentrate on the breath for a little bit. Now you can deepen your breath and make it slow and deliberate, or you can just keep your breath as it is and just notice the in-breath and the out-breath. And right now, congratulations, you are successfully meditating. Why is meditation important? First of all, it's telling yourself and proving to yourself that your mindset, your mood, and your mental health are worthwhile. Secondly, it gives us just a chance to slow down from always rushing from one thing to the next. Now, if you're a human, you are going to get distracted. And you are gonna forget to concentrate on your breath. You're gonna start questioning, am I doing this right? Oh, I forgot to send that email. Oh, I need to do this other thing. You might ask yourself, is this the best use of your time? You might notice suddenly you're itchy, fidgety, absolutely normal and guess what just by noticing them you are successfully doing the practice whenever you remember just bring yourself back to the breath you can concentrate on the sensation of the breath do you feel it in the nose, the throat, the chest, or the abdomen? Can you notice just the difference in how an in-breath and an out-breath feels? We use the breath because when we all have it, it's a continuous companion for us to focus on. Again, you're going to stop concentrating on the breath, start listening to thoughts, start hearing sounds, start discovering itches and aches in the body, totally normal. You're doing it right. Just a commitment to sit down and take a couple of minutes is doing it right. And already you've started to improve your powers of focus, your powers of concentration, and your overall steadiness of mind. Congratulations. Give yourself a little pat on the back for taking the time for yourself and committing to improving your mood, mindset, and mental health.